What's going on guys, it's Chris here, and today we're going to be comparing 2000, 2008, and the present day 2022 bear markets, and this is going to just going to be expanding upon what I wrote on Discord, a few uh, sentences in through there, I try, to, I try to do as much as I could, but I couldn't really fit in all my analysis and my thesis about what's going to happen, uh, so I'm just going to make a quick five minute video, let's try to squeeze it in here, but I'll get all the other details that I didn't really get to include within those um, paragraph. So let's just start off with comparing all these, the basic gist of it, as well as what I wrote on Discord. Now, we're going to be starting with 2000 here. This is our bubble that we had for the technology bubble, 2000, followed in 2001. And this consisted of basically a year, 364 days of a sell-off from the high. Now, I was considering taking this high up here, but I just want to take the all-time high, make it more accurate. And we have a 30% decrease in uh, about a year, right? And that is followed by these wicks at the bottom, which I hope you guys can see. These wicks in through here, we have a wick, big buy week, and then another wick into our 21% uh, bear market rally. Now this is a very significant bear market rally because in our previous rallies in through here, for example, this one and this one, this is 10%, this is 12%. And I mean, this isn't really bear market of course yet because we haven't decreased 20% off the highs yet. So this is actual our bear market territory. We have this downtrend, a mega sell off continues into a uh, bear market rally and then we sell off even more so you know I still expect us to decrease even more within 2022 and into uh, 2023 but for now we'll keep that to the side and moving on to 2008 this actually took less amount of time right so we had 161 days which is actually the same as our current 2022 bear market and this had a 20% decrease within that 161 day period now as you can see it's very similar to 2000 right so we have that decrease we have a little bit of consolidation, some chop in through there, and then we have this big sell-off that occurs um, into the very end of this of this uh, bear market spot on the chart, right? So now we have our first bottom in through here with our wick. We have that big buy week that we saw in 2000. Then we have our sell-off, and it actually forms a secondary low. Now that's why I'm contemplating which one of these is gonna happen. I personally believe that we're actually just gonna have a small pullback in the next week and then rally, but 2008 is a little bit different and we wick at the bottom and we have a secondary low now like I said there's two scenarios we could actually head to a new low and as you can see here this one is 1272 goes to 1254 so if we actually bottom a secondary bottom I bet you we go to you know 3600 I can't really judge what the price is gonna be because it's so infrequent and frequent that we've had these major crashes so I can't really get exact numbers but I'm gonna say about 3600 maybe 3650 is where we're gonna have the secondary bottom but then that is gonna be followed by a rally. So this rally is 14%, which differs from the 2000 crash, which was 20%. And as you can see, it's very, very similar to the candle patterns, right? So we're on the weekly chart, and this took 63 days. Our previous one took 63 days, which is nine bars, right? Nine weeks, and it's very similar, right? We have the wick, secondary wick. Now the, this wick in the middle is a lot shorter than what we had on the 2008, where it actually took more time to consolidate before we had that secondary bottom, and then we rallied. But on this one, I just took this actual low, right? I want to be as accurate as I can. And then boom, we have that rally of 14% in nine weeks. And each time, by the way, we do form a new all-time high after our bear market. So keep that in mind. This will come with immense buying opportunities for long-term positions. Now here in 2022, we have a 161-day decrease, which is the same as 2008. And we are seeing our bottom after 25% decrease. So again, 2000, 30% decrease. 2008, we had a 20, what was it, 20% decrease. And now we have a 25% decrease. So what we can maybe test the bottoms a little bit more at this level of 3,630. But you know, it's unlikely unless we see some very big selling pressure this week and into next week. So we can actually form that secondary load that I talked about. Or from here, we can really just retest some level in here, which I'll have to analyze a little bit more on the daily chart. And then we can fly all the way up here to 2000, uh, 4,000, sorry, 4,280. So that's kind of my ultimate target because on our, on our previous rallies that we had in 2000 and 2008, it actually broke this level up here um, after the last bear market rally that it had. So that's basically what I'm getting at right here um, and what I've analyzed thus far. I really believe that we are going to have a very significant rally. Again, it'll be in the, in the range of about 10 to 20%. So I, I personally think just from analyzing the previous charts that it is going to break the 4,000 level again. I 100% think that we're going to be at 4,000 within the next month easily. 
And then after that, we'll try to test 4,100 and what is this, 4,177, so you know, 4,180. We'll go to 4,200 after that, but I don't think it's just gonna be you know, a 9% rally here, 8.5% and maybe even 10%. It's not gonna be that low. It is easily gonna clear 4K. We're gonna see liquidity grab up here and then it'll crash even further. One more consolidation phase, biggest crash that you'll see the entire year from the spare market. And that's when we're gonna truly bottom in that, that, that last consolidation phase. And then you can compound your gains for years and years and years. And that's gonna be the ultimate bottom of this bear market. But for now, this is gonna be the most significant um, rally that we're probably gonna see out of all these. Cause these ones are very short. They're like 10, 12% max. And this one is gonna be the big one. Hopefully that makes sense. There's also a volume aspect to this. Again, I wanted to keep this video very short, but I've analyzed the volume, which looks exactly the same on all of these. 2000, 2008, all the volume is like this. It's increasing the sell side, very low buy volume, one humongous sell week that just exceeds all of the sell volume in through here. And then it just dries up with a big buy week, right? So you have a big buy week, and then it just continues to its, to its um, bear market rally. So you can see it has big sell off week in through here, and then it dries up, big buy and then it just continues and then same thing for 2000 let's see through here big sell and then it dries up big buys consolidating to the upside and then that's it it's followed by the big crash but hopefully that makes sense to you guys i want to keep this very short concise if you guys have any questions you can message me on discord or just comment it down below i'm nearly 100 percent sure that we're going to rally from here and if we don't we'll form a very temporary low and I honestly am going to be loading up as many calls as I can if we break this low because it'll be a huge liquidity grab before a rally. If you look at the chart, it's easy to tell what's going to happen. It doesn't just decrease like this forever. There's going to be people who eventually buy, which is the institutions and the big money. It's going to crash, just not yet. So hopefully that helped all of you guys. I will see you guys in a future video, but I really hope it helped. So just let me know if you have any questions. See you guys next time, guys.